Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that in the theory of relativity, the mass of a particle with velocity v is m is equal to m0 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, where m0 is the mass of the particle at rest and c is the speed of light. We're, ha we're asked what happens as v approaches the speed of light, c, from the left. So we have our function m is equal to m0 over the square root of 1 minus and then we're approaching c from the left squared over c squared. Now, this isn't an expression we can just evaluate normally, but instead we have to interpret what's happening here if we're approaching c from the left at this term right here. So this is equal to m0 over the square root of 1 minus. If we are approaching uh, the value of c from the left, that means we have values that are very, very slightly less than c, and we're squaring them. That means that we are going to be approaching c squared from the left, right? We are going to have values slightly less than c squared are going to produce values slightly less than c squared, right? In the same way that 99 squared is very um, close, but less than 100 squared. So this is approaching as we get closer and closer to 100 squared. We're going to get, sorry, as we get closer and closer to 100, we're going to get closer and closer to 100 squared. However, we're not going to be there completely. And we're taking this over c squared. If we have a, we have numbers that are slightly less than c squared, but approaching c squared, this is going to be approaching 1, so this is 1 minus 1. But the reason we've been doing this, and not just saying, okay, this is approaching c, so let's just call it c. Because 1 minus 1 is 0, and you can't divide by 0. However, if we have a number that's slightly less than c squared divided by c squared, when we divide 1, um, so when we divide these, we're going to get close to 1, but we're going to be approaching 1 from the left. Therefore, when we do this subtraction, yes, it's 0, but it's not exactly 0. It's approaching 0, but it's approaching... Um, zero from the right. We're subtracting a number that's slightly less than one, so we're going to get a value that's slightly greater than zero, and as this gets closer and closer to one, the difference is going to get closer and closer to zero. This matters that it's not coming from the negative side, because if we take a value, right, which is a the mass of the particle at rest, which is some constant, and we divide it by zero, right, um, which is basically what this means. Um, the square root of numbers approaching zero are approaching zero themselves. We're taking this number and we're dividing it by the numbers approaching zero. It's either equal to infinity or negative infinity. And since we have a positive number divided by a positive number, it is equal to positive infinity. So as v approaches c from the left, m approaches infinity. You could also write this as a limit. The limit as um, v approaches c from the left of m equals infinity.